Okay, today we're talking about heel and toe shots. So hitting the ball too much on the heel and too much on the toe. But before I get into that, I want to make sure that you understand what the heel and the toe are. So I'm going to come in a little closer. And I just want to show you that my golf club here, if you think of the shaft of the golf club as if it's like the leg of the golf club, you would see that this would be kind of like the foot. So when we're talking about the the anatomy of a golf club here, this would be considered the toe, kind of the area farthest away from the shaft. And then this would be considered the heel far, uh, closest to the shaft or the leg of the club. So as you can see, the golf club looks like a leg. So here's the heel of the golf club. So uh, on the inside, closer to the shaft area. And then this is the toe. toe. And going along with foot um, words, the bottom of the golf club is considered the sole. So uh, that's kind of the anatomy of the golf club. And where we always want to hit the ball is more in the center. Hitting the ball in the center is that feeling of just flush feeling. It's just, it's a great golf shot. And uh, it, it makes us, it keeps everybody coming back to the game because hitting it right in the middle there is just, just so fantastic. But hitting the ball too much on the toe consistently or hitting the ball too much on the heel consistently will result in a very, very weak shot and one that doesn't feel very good. And we're going to talk about some fixes on how to, uh, how to fix that today. Okay, so as you can see, I'm setting up to the golf ball here, and I try to always set it up perfectly in the center of the golf ball. So you can see how the club is set up in the center. I never really want to set, it, set the ball up purposely on the toe, and I never really want to set it up purposely on the heel. I always want to kind of hit the, uh, hit the ball right in the center. Now, when we're talking about causes of hitting the ball too much on the toe or the heel, sometimes it can just be the distance to the ball. So when you are standing too far away from the ball and you're always feeling that way and, and it feels normal to you, but you, it does look kind of like you're reaching for the ball there. It'll tend to sometimes hit the ball too much on the toe. And then the opposite happens is that if you're standing too close to the ball, it might feel natural to you, but from looking from behind, you know, it might look a little close, but no matter what it feels like to you, if you're hitting the ball too much in the heel, sometimes standing a little bit further away can help you a little bit. So one thing is distance from the ball, but the other thing, which is probably more important when it comes to actually hitting the ball dead, dead in the center is what we call eye-hand coordination. And I want to show you a little drill here that you could easily do that would help you um, get better with eye-hand coordination. And what it is, is you're just going to make a swing. And let's just say I have a tr problem is always hitting the ball on the heel of the golf club. So I'm always hitting it right, uh, right in that heel area. That means that I'm starting in the center. I swing back and I hit the ball too much in the heel. So a couple of practice swings that would actually help you in a, a great drill would be to start the ball in the center, swing back, and then take a practice swing to the inside of the golf ball. So I'm starting in the center, and I swing back and I swing to the inside of the ball. And the reason why I'm doing that is because your habit is to start in the center and then swing slightly too much on the outside of the ball, which hits the ball too much in the heel. Now, let's say you're the opposite person. Let's say maybe you're always hitting the ball in the toe. So what happens there for your diagnostics is that you're always hitting the ball. You're starting in the center, but you swing the club back and you end up too much on the inside of the ball which hits the ball too much on the toe. So to fix that, what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of practice swings, once again, starting in the center of the face, but you're going to swing back and take a couple of practice swings on the outside of the ball. And what that's going to do is it's going to help you start to try to reach out a little bit more as opposed to getting scrunched in here and missing the club to the inside. So doing a drill like this that really kind of heightens your eye-hand coordination can really help you figure out how to fix the typical issue. So once again, just to summarize, if I hit the ball too much in the heel, that means that I start in the center and I swing too much to the outside of the ball. So I have to work on trying to swing more to the inside of the ball. So taking a couple of practice swings to the inside would be good after starting from the center. If I'm one that hits the ball too much on the toe, I'm gonna start in the center, but take practice swings on the outside to avoid kidding, coming in from the inside. Now, one other drill that I want to show you here is called a gate drill. And what you're going to do is you're going to put down two balls here. The first ball is going to be one ball away from the golf ball on the outside. Okay, one ball away on the outside. And then what you're going to do is on the other side, you're not going to be one ball away. You're going to give yourself just a little bit more room. So more like a ball and a half on the inside. So this is called the gate drill. So there's a little bit more room here. And the reason for that is because there's just on the golf club here, 
there's a little bit extra stuff going on on here since we have the hosel and everything like that. So I want a little bit of extra room on the inside part of the ball. So outside ball is about a ball away from the middle ball and the inside ball is about a ball and a half away from the middle ball. And the goal of this is that if I can hit the ball right in the center of the face, I won't hit either of the outside golf balls. However, if you're one that always hits the ball on the heel of the golf club, you're most likely going to swing back and you're going to hit both of the outside balls. Since this first ball, the ball that I'm actually intending to hit, is being struck in the heel of my golf club, I will also hit that outside ball, which would just show that I'm erring too much on the outside of the golf ball. But if you're one that tends to always hit the ball in the toe, you would start in the center of the face and your mistake would be that you would sometimes hit too much on the toe, which would then make you hit both of these balls. So you can see how this one would hit, the middle ball would hit the middle, the toe of the golf club. And then I would also hit this one as well because I'm just hitting this one on the toe. So the point of this gate drill is to really, really kind of zero in on your eye-hand coordination and being very, very specific and masterful in that coordination to be able to hit just in the middle of that face every single time. So this would be a phenomenal drill for you to, to focus on. Now, you don't need both balls all the time. Maybe you use both balls at the beginning just to identify where is your mistake, hitting too much on the toe or too much on the heel. However, I want you to, uh, once you figure that out, so let's just say you are one that always hits the ball on the heel, you would not need this inside ball. You could take this away and just focus on trying to hit this inside ball without hitting the outside ball. However, if you were one that hits the ball too much on the toe, what you would do is you take away this outside ball and you would try to hit the golf ball, this middle ball, without hitting this one. Because once again, if you hit the ball too much on the toe, you hit both of those golf balls. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. If you do so, it will give you notifications for all my future videos. Also, if you like today's video, please click on that thumbs up like button. That really, really helps out my channel. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and put it in the comments section below. I try to read them all and give them all a reply. Lastly, if you have any uh, friends that might benefit from today's video, please go ahead and share it with them so that they can see it as well. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really, really hope this helped your game.